Siddharth Yadav, you first of the BJP. Answer that question. The BJP in Maharashtra is happy to see the quota rise to 72% because you need to assuage the Marathas. You've been talking about giving reservation to the Jats in different parts of the country. There you have no problem. And your, your government, in, uh, or, or, or when you had a government in Karnataka, you had no problem uh, with, with increasing reservation shares or promising more reservation. Now suddenly when the Congress says we are going to come up with a caste census and Jitni Abadi Utna Haq, the BJP is saying this is divisive, even likening it to Muslim League politics. Please explain this. I, good evening, Rajdeep, and I'll definitely do that. And I'll also respond to the questions raised by Yogendraji. First of all, a simple reading of the Congress manifesto makes it very clear that probably Rahul Gandhi has not written it because the way, uh, the smart way in which the divisive agenda has been put in, uh, I'm not expecting Rahul Gandhi to be that smart. But definitely he has written the part uh, wherein the appeasement and the Muslim, uh, wherein the part has been stolen from the Muslim League's manifesto of 1936. And that is why the five Anyayas of Congress party are what very evident. Stolen? No, no, Siddharth Yadav, I will not on a sense. On one minute, sir. On I am very clear, this is not one of those programs that you go on TV and pass uh, comments without backing them up. When you say this manifesto resembles Muslim League of 36, I want to know what is it. Because what I see in the manifesto is they are saying that personal freedoms of communities will be preserved and any changes will be made through consultation. Now how does that become Muslim League of 1936? Please tell me. You are spreading fear. This is fear mongering. Rajdeep, had you waited for 20 more seconds, I, I was right to about to answer that only. Please go ahead. I started off with the Muslim League replica, the religion-based aspects of the Congress manifesto, and I'll absolutely answer you on point what is being replicated. The Muslim League in 1936 asked for, uh, you know, fight against, uh, uh, against the majority, and that is what the Congress Party is doing today. They asked for special rights for protection of the personal laws, that is what the Congress Party is doing today. They asked for religion-based scholarships, that is what the Congress Party is doing today. They asked for reservation, more representation or religion-based constituencies. That is what the Congress Party is promising today in their manifesto. It's very evident and I can go by page by no, page. Where, are the, where, point no, no, where is the last two points? No, no, Mr. Siddharth Yadav, do not that be, no, no, Mr. Siddharth Yadav, I am going to be very firm. You must not mislead. Where is it saying that we are against majorities? Please, please be clear. They are saying we will revive certain specific scholarship like the Maulana Azad scholarship. I will, I will. Where is the specific against majority? Please be clear. If I go back to Muslim League politics, I will have to bring back Savarkar and Hindu Mahasabha. And I don't want to go. My focus is on reservations today as a political weapon or social justice. You are trying to again do what your party leadership is doing, spreading fear that this is a Muslim League manifesto. Please show me one thing where majority is pitted against minority. I'll accept your argument. One point. Majority versus minority. I'll accept your point, sir. Ab absolutely, absolutely, Rajdeep. If you wish so, I will definitely answer Please that. do. Rajdeep, in the Congress manifesto, the Congress brings out and says exactly that we will fight against the, pro the majority forces and they hint of bringing back the communal violence bill. No. The one bill that the UPA government had brought in 2011. The, the dreaded bill it's that we false. cannot forget. They bring, they bring out, they promise that any, they, they promise by quoting the NCRB data that the offenses, uh, the crimes against minorities have increased and they'll bring a special law, which was the communal law, the communal violence bill to, to prosecute all other communities. Because even if you say anything to the minority of this country, which is the second largest majority, mm -hmm. but they want to do this for the appeasement of their own sake, they will, they are going to prosecute them specially and they will bring out a law. They will not reform the old laws of this country. They will not reform the IPC, CRPC and the Evidence Act, but they will bring out a communal violence bill and they will write it down. But Rajdeep Sardesai, I'm very sorry to say, sir, you are unable to read it. Okay. Because so have you been so you're using thorough reading okay. with no, an unbiased minute. opinion? You, you you've, given, seen, sir. You've, given, you've given a point which I think deserves to be responded to. You're saying you believe the way the manifesto is framed, it will bring back the communal violence sir, bill. But and I that, according to you, question, will be used against... Okay. What I was saying initially. Okay. okay. You made the point. It will be used. Anshul Abjit, respond. 
You see, the manifest of the Congress in some way... What I was saying because you interjected and I was answering your questions. Okay, you made the point. Let him now respond. Anshul Abjit, respond. If you give me 30 seconds, sir. No, no, let him now respond. Go ahead, Anshul Abjit, respond to to what you're hearing from Siddharth Yadav. He's saying, for example... Just a minute, sir. Let him respond. Hang on a minute. Rajdeep, it's not about... No, 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 no. No, no, Rajdeep, no, no, first of all, this is not about BJP. This debate about reservations is bigger than that of the Congress party, the Congress manifesto, the BJP, and this tedious thing I heard from him about anything else. It's bigger than this program. It's, uh, we have reservations in this country because there is uh, the curse of the caste system which has haunted us for generations. This debate, do not debase this debate by calling it some political ploy every single time. I know you've done that repeatedly as if we use it as some kind of political instrumentalism to get votes. Do you think that is the reason why reservations is in this country? Or is it to tackle the scourge of, uh, of social injustice which has haunted this country for centuries? Which is humiliated, which is betrayed, which is cruel, which is unjust, which is diabolical. Mr. Abji, that Mr. is what Anshul is the problem Abji. here. Sir, the yeah, just a minute. Of the just a minute. Anshul, Anshul, just a minute. No, no, that I, is I, why. Sir, no, sir, no, sir, no, sir just a minute. The history of your party. By one minute, sir. You must political listen. political ploy and sir, instrumentalism. Sir, sir, one minute. I, I want to quote you facts. Let's stick to facts. In 1990, when VP Singh endorses the Manda, brings in the Mandal Commission rep, uh, report and says, I'm implementing it, the Congress's reaction, Yogendra Yadav may not agree with it, was was ambivalent today 34 years later you are coming on this show and saying this is the only way you can ensure social economic and uh, political justice my limited point is you were behind the curve in a way and now you're trying to play catch up that's the reality you've realized that this is the only way you can win the votes particularly of the OBC community which has drifted in the last 30 years to the BJP that's the reality How terribly cynical, and this is completely unjust. We have been at the forefront for the fight of social justice ever since the First Amendment, even before that. Have you forgotten the STSC Preventions of Atrocities Act, Women's Reservation, the fact we implemented OBC reservations, the fact that there was women's reservations again? Look, the Congress Party is not infallible, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, Whatever happened, this debate, I told you before, the debate about social justice and reservations is beyond that of even the Congress party. I will not spare anyone when it comes to the fact of social justice. And when it comes to the, you know, I've heard a lot of things about the BJP. They have been a completely anti uh, sort of reservations policy. The things that were reiterated today about how reservations, about caste-based census. By the way, we need a caste-based census because we need an X-ray of the society. We cannot keep doing lip service to this society and thinking, oh yeah, reservations, by having certain amount of reservations, you've paid your dues to centuries of old cruel- cruelty. That can't happen. We've got to make a full commitment and a fulfillment here. You know, this is this old thing of how society will break up because of caste-based censors mm-hmm. was uh, reiterated and said earlier by Manmohan Media and the RSS comp- time and again that it will break up society. Okay. Aray, bhai, the society is already broken up. It is the caste system that has broken the society. You need to patch it up by having a composite program of so affirmation. What, 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 what are you saying on national television? One no, 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 so you can't even other. for a moment think of unifying this country. One minute, one minute, one minute. You can't even for a moment Aray, think yaar. about taking this country forward.